Yo, Pokemon Center, and welcome to another top five electric type Pokemon. Well, not another, but just top five in general. And when it comes to this top five, I'm actually intrigued to see if people knew about my last and favorite Pokemon when it comes to number one here. If anyone knows about it or knew about it, if I've ever said anything or just flat out like freaked out over it, and you just like maybe that's his favorite Pokemon or something, then I would be amazed because I never really talk about electric type Pokemon. So I'll be kind of surprised if anyone says I kind of knew it. But you'll be kind of surprised as well if you didn't because it's a rather interesting number one. But starting out with number five, we have Ampharos. Ampharos is kind of a monster, I guess you could say, in competitive. It can do some work. It has a Mega and everything. It's a pretty beloved Pokemon through and through. I love it for the overall design, and it's kind of helpful. It was always known to be helpful. It was even used as a, I guess you could say, light bulb for the lighthouse in the second gen, because Jasmine always took care of it. I can't remember exactly the name she gave it. I'm going to have to look into that, because I used to like the name, and I would name my Ampharos that, actually. So, that's a little knowledge on that. But the light Pokemon Ampharos, the tail's tip shines brightly and can be seen from far away. It acts like a beacon for lost people. And that makes sense to why it was used in the lighthouse a lot. And like I said before, Ampharos, design-wise, um, abilities, overall stats, I just love it in general. And it will always be a top electric type Pokemon for me. On to number four, though, which is pretty kind of, I don't know. It should be higher on the list, but at the same time, there were just others that kind of pushed it down. Like, I was really debating on what was going to be number four, what was going to be number three. I had an idea for what was going to be number one, but it was like th four, three, and two. I was really debating on how to move them around, but Luxray got pushed down to number four. The Gleam Eyes Pokemon it is another monster, I guess you could say. I don't want to necessarily say in competitive, but I used to love it back and forth with Jim when I fought, first saw Shinx. I loved it to death. I caught it. I was just like, you're going to be like my second starter. <laughs> Because if I remember correctly, I started off with Piplup, and seeing Shinx, I knew it was an electric type right off the bat. So I was scared to try to use Piplup to catch it, but knowing me, I was going to be stupid and do it anyways. And when I finally caught it, I was like, this thing is going to be some power when it evolves. I can feel it. And then when it evolved at Luxury, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely going to be something nice. And finally, looking at Luxury, I was like, oh my god, I was actually right. Normally, I'm not right when it comes to stuff like that. Normally, I get upset at Evolutions because it's always new, and I'm just like, oh, I didn't expect that. Not exactly mad, but I guess not exactly what you expect happens. And when it comes to Luxray, just, I don't know, it's something about it. I've always loved how fierce it could be, and just even in the anime and the gem leader himself having a Luxray, I thought it was amazing. It was it will, Luxray will always be something that I keep in my heart from 4th Gen, and I think it's one of the few things that I will forever remember, because I don't remember a lot about 4th Gen, I won't even lie to you guys. But the Gleam Eyes Pokemon Luxray, when its eyes gleam gold, it can spot hiding prey, even though it's taking shelter behind a wall. So basically it has like a infrared light on it. It can see anything through walls. What is it? Is it infrared? It's something else, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it can see anything it wants. Even if you think you're hiding, you're not hiding from it. It's like, I will find you. You will get bodied. You will take this L. <laughs> and that's something I've always loved about Luxray as well. On to number three, which is why I said it was kind of hard moving them around because it's like, I like Vicavolt, but I love Luxray. And then number two, I loved it too. And I'm just like, I don't know who to move. So I kind of decided to put Vicavolt in number three because it's it's slightly newer. Well, it's not even slightly newer. It is newer compared to the Pokemon that's on this list. And it's just something that kind of grew on me because when I caught Grubbin, I think its name is, I'm probably messing that up. But yeah, I caught Grubbin. And I was kind of saying the entire time, this is going to be the Pokemon I have. I don't care. <laughs> and I learned the very, very, very foul truth of Pokemon Sun and Moon that, um, what is it called? Uh, Charger Bug. There we go. Charger Bug doesn't evolve until like the end of the game. And I had Grubbin and Charger Bug since the very beginning. So from ben beginning to end, I had a stage two Pokemon. No, stage one or stage two? It's stage one. At a stage one Pokemon just sitting in the party trying to put in work <laughs> or getting body because it couldn't put in work. And Charge Bug, while well, I loved it, I was like, one of these days you're going to get to this one port in this game and you're going to evolve to something nice. 
And I forgot its speed is garbage. <laughs> its special attack and everything is amazing in my opinion, but that speed is what hinders it. And that's what hinders a lot of Alolan Pokemon, unfortunately. But this Stag Beetle Pokemon, it zips around on sharp, look at, on sharp lookout for opening. It concentrates electrical energy within its large jaws and use it to zap its enemies. That's something you kind of expect from electric type. It zaps its enemies. It kind of charges up and charge a bug. <laughs> it's always been something that can be interesting to me. I don't like a lot of electric types. I won't lie to you. My top five would probably be like the only electric types I really like. I probably have like two or three like mentionables, but that's about it. I really don't like a lot of electric types. I can say that much. I, I can say this much. I know Pikachu is an electric type and everything. But I don't necessarily like him like that. I mean, I like him as a Pokemon because I know mascots and all that. But Pikachu overall, I'm just like, eh. I have other Pokemon I love better. <laughs> but yeah, Vickavolt is always something I liked. And I think I got a shiny of it. I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably look into it. It's probably something else that's a shiny. I'm just thinking about it. But yeah, Vickavolt, it got number three. Put in Luxray number four, unfortunately. But number two is why they're three and four. Emolga. Emolga is literally the reason why I love 5th Gen today. There's the music, there's Emolga, there's like two other things, and then just a few other Pokemon. But Emolga is definitely one of the reasons. Not only because it kind of kept me watching the anime a little bit, it was the fact that when I saw Emolga at Eliza's gym, I was amazed at how powerful it actually was. I was like, that's a mini Zapdos. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a mini Zapdos on their team that's putting in work that's uh what do you want to say it's not exactly the fastest it's kind of known it's not it doesn't have any evolutions or anything so it kind of has those base stats but it can put in work if you really want it to and it's just a it's just a mischievous little thing well in the anime it was and I've always loved it because of that this that thing about me mischievous Pokemon that can put in work I've always loved them and you can tell through my top fives how you'll see the mischievous Pokemon that can put in work. But Yamoga is definitely something I always love. The Sky Squirrel Pokemon, it glides using its cape-like membrane. Electrical energy scatters from it, shocking its friends and foes alike. So basically, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like Pachirisu when it discharges. It just kind of does it, and it doesn't mean to do it on purpose. Pichu, that's who it is as well. Yeah, they're kind of all the same. They don't mean to shock their friends, but it kind of happens, and they're just like, oh my god, I'm sorry. That's kind of what happens with Emolga. I like that for Emolga, though. It's always something to look forward to, even though you don't want to get shocked. <laughs> Number one, though, like I said, I don't think anyone expected this. And if you did or just had the inkling feeling, I'm actually surprised because number one isn't just one Pokemon. I won't lie. Number one is actually two Pokemon that I couldn't decide on making number one. So it's kind of like a two for one thing. Plusle and Minum. Plusle and Minum are just two of the Pokemon I absolutely adore in third gen. I will never forget them when it comes to them. I also enjoyed them being in the Pokemon Ranger games and everything like that. The Pokemon Ranger movies. It was just something I loved about Plusle and Minum. The fact that they always cheer each other on is also something I loved. And it's just hilarious how they work together. They're kind of like the Pichu brothers, but not, I guess you could say. Instead of them being mischievous, they're just kind of being super cheerful and happy and helping people out and using helping hand. So that's something I always loved about them. Their stats aren't the best. They're not really something you want to use in competitive. I'm pretty sure people know about that. While I think Minum is more especially defensive, while Plusle is more special attacking, which kind of makes sense because blue, red, kind of see blue more being defensive and red being more kind of like offensive. So it kind of makes sense. But the cheering Pokemon, Plusle and Minum, Exposure to electricity from Minum and Plusso promotes blood circulation and reflex muscles. So, they actually help you in some kind of way. While normal, normal electric type Pokemon kind of hurts you with their electricity, they kind of try to help you out. So that's another thing I like about them. And to be honest, I think they will be a overall Pokemon I just love in general. Not just top 5 electric. I think top, I don't even know what number kind of put on it, but just top Pokemon I love in general. These, these guys right here, these cheerful little things. <laughs> oh my god, they made so many kind of Pikachu, I don't want to say knockoffs, but they made so many Pikachu lookalikes that is just hilarious in my opinion. But let me know what your top 5 or even top 10 electric type Pokemon is because I 
don't have probably like the best list in your opinion you're probably like oh well you could have put this pokemon there or this, this pokemon is amazing trust me it's opinionated so i this is what i think if you have a different idea or a different standpoint let me know in the comment section below because i would love to hear any kind of like rebuttal i'm gonna say if you have a different favorite if it's like lux Ray's your favorite tell me lux Ray's your favorite because like i said i love it as well so maybe we can see something in common who knows but i appreciate anyone that came through Hope you push that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more content on Pokemon Center because there's not just me. There's other PokeTubers that are amazing on here. So I will see you guys in the next one.